Hi guys, myself Vijay Tavardhan and in this video lecture session I am going to explain you a solution on projection of plane surfaces. And an example problem is like this. A circular lamina inclined to VP appears in the front view as an ellipse of major axis 30 mm and minor axis 15 mm. The major axis is parallel to both HP and VP. One end of the minor axis is on both HP and VP and draw the projections of the lamina and determine the inclination of the lamina with VP. Now to solve this problem, a circular lamina diameter is not given, but however, the major and minor axis of the ellipse is given as 30 and 15 mm. So when the circle is rotated, it becomes an ellipse of major axis 30 mm and minor axis 15 mm, whereas the major axis will be always equal to the circular circle diameter. Henceforth, by this one can conclude that the circle of diameter 30 millimeter is to be constructed first. So let us go to ellipse a circle by center point whose diameter is taken as 30 degree and it will be placed in the VP. Now after placing it in the VP using a line command with thickness to 0 0.13 let us draw two diameters to divide the circle into four equal parts since the lamina is too small we divide it into just four equal parts. Then show that the size of this lamina is 30 degree sorry 30 mm and then uh, make use of a text command name the corners as a dash and this as b dash and this is going to be c dash and this is going to be d dash now draw the top view according to this projectors now draw the projectors till it touches the xy line to draw the top view now after which make use of a line command with a thickness of 0 0.5 millimeter split this projectors top view so uh, split the top view so that the next stage it can be drawn very easily the projectors can be drawn easily now this will be marked as a and this will be marked as b and d and finally this is going to be marked as c now the inclination is not known instead of that we know that the major and minor axis is going to be the 30 and uh, 15 millimeter for which one has to go for a command called as ellipse by center point now we are going to deal with the center point so the primary axis and secondary axis is supposed to be the radius value now 30 millimeter the radius value is supposed to be taken as 15 millimeter and then 15 millimeter should be taken as 7.5 millimeter now one can see that this angle of rotation is supposed to be 90 degrees so that and with respect to this center it has to be placed anywhere on the vp now now you can see that this is the major axis of an ellipse now using a line command will connect the major or major axis like this so the major axis remains as 30 millimeter and the minor axis will be drawn like this the minor axis is going to be measured as 15 millimeter there the major axis is measuring now you can see the major axis measuring 30 millimeter once we have drawn this 30 by 15 millimeter then make use of uh, line command and so before that line command one has to name the corners as a dash and this corner as b dash and this corner as c dash and this corner as d dash sorry d dash is not position so let me position the d dash over here c dash once again d dash then make use of a line command with a thickness of 0 0.13 a dash is projected till the xy line whereas c dash is moving away from the xy line now you select the front view sorry top view then go to move command and a is going to be on this point and c is going to be on this line so for which go to arc by center point command with a thickness of 0 0.13 with a as the center c as a rotating point c is going to be shifted to this new position now select the top view completely using a command called as rotate a is on the line and c is going to be shifted on the end point of a arc over here so that this is the required inclination at this inclination it will become major axis 30 by 15 millimeter what is its inclination the inclination with respect to this plane is is measuring as 60 degree now show that the angle is 60 degree so using a line command so one can draw the projector of d dash to d properly so that it is visible properly now let me reposition d dash for the visibility properly and then one has to draw the third stage in the third stage one end of the minor axis in both hp and vp 
a dash that is minor axis a dash is on vp it is supposed to be on the hp also and the line bd that is major axis parallel to both hp vp now this is perpendicular to hp and parallel to vp now the inclination is supposed to be 90 degree now how to complete that one now one can select the front view then go to a command called as move move with respect to a dash reposition that a dash on the xy line then go to rotate command rotate in such a way that a dash and c dash become perpendicular to x y line and a dash is supposed to be shifted to above the x y line because it's a front view then draw the projectors from the respective corners and then complete the required top view now the projectors has been completed then using the text command name the respective corner so this corner will be a this corner will be b and this corner will be c this corner will be C and this corner will be D. Then make use of ellipse by center point with the thickness of 0.5 millimeter. The intersection has to be selected as a center and first D is supposed to be selected and A is supposed to be the tangent point. Now by this one can say that the problem is completed in all aspects according to the given conditions. And if you have any doubts please feel free to contact me at this number. And also please do subscribe to my YouTube channel and also do share this video to all your first year engineering students. And thank you for watching my video once again.